Netflix Harry and Meghan series revealed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made secret recordings to document the months leading up to their decision to step down as senior royals. But the timing of the recordings have left some wondering how long the Duke and Duchess have been planning to tell their story. Royal expert Daniela Elzer claimed it was handy the couple had these recordings when they signed their lucrative deal with Netflix in September 2020. Ms. Elzer said, Harry says in the first episode that a friend of ours actually suggested that we document ourselves through this period of time, a decision that would ultimately prove highly fortuitous given their transition from working members of the royal family to professional malcontents. With the full series now out, we are left with more questions than answers when it comes to the chronology of things. Follow below for live updates, key event Cherry and Megan series leaves questions over chronology of things 11 colon 09 55 minutes ago 01 colon 43 Catherine Meyer funnel King Charles coronation to see early morning celebrations King Charles Ives coronation is set to be celebrated into the early hours of the morning in pubs, clubs and bars across England and Wales. The government is proposing extending licensing hours from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. across the bank holiday weekend from May 5 to 7. The King will be crowned on the Saturday at Westminster Abbey in a service conducted by the Archbishop of Canterbury. By giving the green light to late-night drinking the government hopes to support the hospitality industry and provide an opportunity for our communities to come together and celebrate this historic moment. A consultation on the proposals will be launched tomorrow. Home Secretary Suella Braverman has powers to relax licensing hours on occasions of exceptional national significance. Two hours ago 00 colon 41 Catherine Meyer funnel Harry's damaged morale of our soldiers, blasts war hero defending monarchy Prince Harry has been criticized by a war hero for trying to bring down the monarchy and damaging the morale of soldiers fighting for king and country. Former Army Staff Sergeant Trevor Coult who won the Military Cross in Iraq, labeled the prince absolutely appalling for his criticisms of the royal family and for his scathing six-part Netflix docuseries. Leading royal experts on both sides of the Atlantic are also warning that the rift between Princes Harry and William may never be healed. It comes as a Sunday Express poll reveals a mere 2% of the UK population still support the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Three hours ago 23 colon 50 Catherine Meyer funnel Prince William's friends admit sadness over strained relationship with Harry Prince William's friends have spoken out following his brother's controversial documentary series on Netflix. Speaking to the Times, the friends said William had no plans to speak with his brother for the time being, as the rift between the pair looks set to worsen in the wake of the Tell All series. One friend said, things have been very strained for a while. The friend continued, there is sadness at where things currently are with his brother and there's a memoir coming. Another close friend of Prince William said, the whole thing is mad. Six hours ago 20 colon 33 Vasya Barba Harry and Meghan want apology from royal family Harry and Meghan are said to be wanting a sit-down meeting with senior members of the royal family, following the release of the explosive Netflix documentary series this week, it has been claimed. The Sussexes are reported to want the royal family to take responsibility for the hurt and damage they put the couple through. A source close to the couple told The Times that they want a meeting before attending King Charles' coronation in May. Seven hours ago 20 no one Vasya Barba Prince Harry feared conversations with William would be leaked Prince Harry and Prince William's relationship has been strained over the last couple of years, with the Duke of Sussex stepping down from his working royal roles and moving to California with wife Meghan Markle. 
the pair put aside their differences recently and came together to mourn the death of their grandmother Queen Elizabeth II. Roy and Nika joined Christine Lampard on Monday morning to discuss how the pair's relationship first began to falter, with Harry not having much trust in his brother's aides. Seven hours ago 1936 Vasya Barba Meghan Markle and Harry slammed for thinking a royal could help the world Kathy Griffin, 62, is known for her comedic ways and outspoken personality and her opinion on the Meghan Markle and Prince Harry Netflix documentary was no different. The star compared Harry to Army Hammer and criticized the royals for thinking they could help the world in her latest quip. Kathy took to her Instagram story to share her thoughts on the Harry and Meghan Netflix documentary in view of her 697,000 followers. Eight hours ago 18 55 Vasya Barba Beatrice's wears vintage engagement ring worth up to £140,000 Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi tied the knot on July 17, 2020 at the Royal Chapel of All Saints, Royal Lodge. Windsor. The royal looked sensational as she married the property developer. Maxwell Stone, creative director at Stephen Stone Jewelers, spoke exclusively to Express. Co.uk about Princess Beatrice's show-stopping stone by designer Sean Leanne. He said, Princess Beatrice's ring is an absolute stunner. A six chloround diamond takes center stage, which looks to be around 3 CTS. The round diamond shoulders two tapered baguettes, which gives the ring a vintage feel and Art Deco inspired look. For added sparkle, the ring also features small pivet diamonds halfway around the band. 11 hours ago 15 09 Vasya Barba Queen Camilla shrugs off Harry and Meghan with star-studded London party The Queen consort swept aside recent royal drama to attend a festive gathering in Mayfair, earlier this week. Queen Camilla was photographed wearing an emerald green dress with a sleek black cape coat as she arrived at the acclaimed Murano restaurant on Wednesday. The Queen Consort was accompanied by an array of celebrities at the event hosted by Ewan Venters, former CEO of Fortnum and Mason. Twelve hours ago 14 47 Francesca Edwards Prince Harry's cheeky alter comment to Bride Meghan revealed in Netflix clip Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have shared fresh details of their wedding day in their new Netflix docuseries. The fiery series has examined the couple's experience at the forefront of the royal family and their later step down as senior working members. The first part of the saga focused on the early days of their relationship and the announcement of their engagement, but in episode 4 viewers were treated to a closer look at their royal wedding ceremony, in May 2018. Upon her arrival at the chapel, Meghan was walked down the aisle by her father-in-law King Charles, as an adoring Prince Harry looked on. As the pair were united at the altar, they shared a sweet exchange, which was not picked up by microphones in the venue, but has since been deciphered by experts. Read more here. 12 hours ago 14 23 Francesca Edwards Queen shrugs off Harry and Meghan with star-studded London party The Queen consort has stepped out to attend a glitzy Christmas party in central London amid the royal controversy spurred by Prince Harry and Meghan's new series. The Queen consort swept aside recent royal drama to attend a festive gathering in Mayfair, earlier this week. Queen Camilla was photographed wearing an emerald green dress with a sleek black cape coat as she arrived at the acclaimed Murano restaurant on Wednesday. The Queen consort was accompanied by an array of celebrities at the event hosted by Ewan Venters, former CEO of Fortnum and Mason. Read more here. 14 hours ago 12 colon 52 Francesca Edwards line of succession to the throne now that Charles is king, 
Prince William is first in line to the throne. He is followed by his three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Despite no longer being a working member of the royal family, Prince Harry is fifth in line to the throne. 14 hours ago 12 colon 22 Francesca Edwards George and Charlotte debunked Meghan's claim during Royal Family Christmas concert members of the Royal Family put on a united front on Thursday evening as they stepped out to attend the Christmas Carol concert at Westminster Abbey. Prince George, aged 9, and Princess Charlotte, 7, arrived at Westminster Abbey with their father, Prince William. The two younger royals were seen greeting their family members, King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla with affectionate kisses and cuddles. The warm welcome for their grandparents came after the Duchess of Sussex highlighted the formality of royal family relations. In the second episode of the Netflix series, Meghan recalled, When Will and Kate came over and I had met her for the first time, they came for dinner. I remember I was in ripped jeans and I was barefoot. I was a hugger, always being a hugger. I didn't realize that is really jarring for a lot of Brits. I guess I started to understand very quickly that the formality on the outside, carried through on the inside. That there is a forward-facing way of being. Read more here. 15 hours ago 12 colon no one Francesca Edwards Liz Hurley denies claim she was beautiful older woman who took Prince Harry's virginity Prince Harry's tell-all memoir is set to be released in the new year. There has been rampant speculation that the Duke of Sussex could reveal that he lost his virginity to a beautiful older woman in his younger years. Amid the royal gossip, Actress and model Elizabeth Hurley has spoken out to deny any suggestions of an intimate relationship she shared with the prince. The Times has suggested one of the most extraordinary details within Prince Harry's forthcoming memoir is the revelation that he lost his virginity to a mysterious beautiful older woman in the countryside. During an interview with the Times, Ms. Hurley was asked if she had a sexual relationship with the Duke of Sussex when she was a teenager. The actress promptly responded, Not me. Not guilty. Ha! Huh. She doubled down on her denial as she added, No. Not me, absolutely not. Read more here. 15 hours ago 11 colon 43 Francesca Edwards when did Meghan and Harry leave the royal family? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior royals in March 2020 a move dubbed Megxit. Following the move, they were stripped of their royal patronages and honorary military titles. The couple relocated across the pond to Montecito in Santa Barbara where they now live with their two children Archie, three and Lilibet, one. Since leaving the UK the couple has not stepped away from the spotlight, most famously taking part in a controversial interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. Most recently they released their highly anticipated Netflix docuseries. 15 hours ago 11 colon 21 Francesca Edwards James, Viscount Severn's ambiguous royal future laid bare as Sophie reveals uncertainty James, Viscount Severn is the youngest of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip's grandchildren. The son of Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, the teenage royal is 14th in line to the throne, falling just ahead of his older sister Lady Louise Windsor. Like Princess Anne, who decided her two children, Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall, would not have royal titles, the Wessexes wanted their kids to be able to find their own passions and pursue their own interests. 
Neither Louise nor James are expected to carry out royal duties and according to their mother, the pair are unlikely to ever have to take on official roles within the firm. Read more here. 15 hours ago 11 09 Francesca Edwards Harry and Meghan series leaves questions over chronology of things Netflix Harry and Meghan series revealed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made secret recordings to document the months leading up to their decision to step down as senior royals. But the timing of the recordings have left some wondering how long the Duke and Duchess have been planning to tell their story. Royal expert Daniela Elzer claimed it was handy the couple had these recordings when they signed their lucrative deal with Netflix in September 2020. Ms. Elzer said, Harry says in the first episode that a friend of ours actually suggested that we document ourselves through this period of time, a decision that would ultimately prove highly fortuitous given their transition from working members of the royal family to professional malcontents. With the full series now out, we are left with more questions than answers when it comes to the chronology of things. 16 hours ago 10 colon 49 Michael Coors on Harry and Meghan release digital Christmas car The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have this year released a paper-free 2022 Christmas card. This shared by writer Romed Scobie, reads, from our family to yours, and on behalf of our teams at the Archul Foundation, Archul Audio, and Archul Productions, we wish you health, peace, and a very happy new year. 16 hours ago 10 colon 33 Michael Coors on inside Prince Andrew's Fairbeer Ski Chalet The Duke of York has sold his ski chalet to a British family for £19 million. Anna Berry reports, Prince Andrew has reportedly been trying to sell his ski chalet in Fairbeer since 2020. He has finally sold the property after supposedly grappling with debts. The Telegraph reported that Andrew was finally able to sell the chalet after more than a year of legal wrangling over a £1. 6 million business debt. Two years ago a freezing order had been placed on the property, with the money owed to an unidentified Swiss couple. A spokesperson for the Duke reportedly confirmed on Friday night, the sale of the Duke and Duchess of York's Swiss chalet has now gone through. It has been sold for on or around the asking price to a British family, who do not know Andrew and Fergie and wish to remain anonymous. Read more here. 16 hours ago 10 colon 23 Michael Coors on Kate and William will be deeply wounded by Netflix attack Gary Goldsmith, the uncle of the Princess of Wales, has described the new documentary series Harry and Meghan as a wind fest. Leo Paxton reports, while Buckingham Palace has refused to comment on the Netflix docuseries, in an exclusive interview with the Mail. Kate Middleton's uncle Gary Goldsmith has hit out at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's hissy fits. Reflecting on the revelations within the series, Mr. Goldsmith said, I think Catherine and William will be feeling deeply wounded. They love Harry, they miss him. He is family and, despite this attack, I believe they'd still welcome him and Meghan back. To me. The series felt not only scripted and inauthentic, but unfair, self-interested, unreasonable and untrue, especially when done in the knowledge that William and Catherine could never answer back. Read more here. 17 hours ago 10 colon 06 Michael Corazon would be outrageous and massively hypocritical for Harry and Meghan to attend King's coronation it would be outrageous and massively hypocritical for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to attend the King's coronation, foreign policy analyst and former aide to Margaret Thatcher Niall Gardner has argued. Writing following the release of Netflix's new documentary series Harry and Meghan, he commented in a post on Twitter that the couple have done much to attack and undermine the British monarchy. Mr Gardner added, they have demonstrated no dignity at all while carrying royal titles. 
17 hours ago 09 Poland 30 Michael Kors on 100 days since the death of the Queen today marks 100 days since the death of Queen Elizabeth II, on September 8, 2022. This day also saw the start of King Charles III's reign, with the new monarch immediately acceding to the throne upon his mother's passing. 18 hours ago 08 colon 42 Michael Kors on Meghan and Harry told to kiss America goodbye the Duke and Duchess's new Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan, has been slammed by some US critics. Leah Paxton reports, Prince Harry and Meghan's brutally candid assessment of royal life appears to have triggered backlash both in the UK and abroad, with the US media now airing their grievances with the couple. The New York Times promptly dished up its second serving of critics' reviews shortly after the second half of the docu-series premiered on Thursday. The typically liberal publication highlighted how the series had been perceived as a gussied-up reality show, packed full of grudge rehashing. The New York Times used quotes from critics published by The Guardian and The Independent, making sure to emphasize that even left-leaning British press had fierce criticisms of the latest Sussex media venture. Overall, the online article suggested critics remain largely unconvinced that the saga deserved so much screen time. Read more here. 19 hours ago 07 colon 29 Michael Kors on Harry won't be driving home for Christmas royal aides claim as many members of the royal family will gather this year on Christmas Day morning, the first since the death of Queen Elizabeth II, in a show of unity after a difficult year, but that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not be among them. The Sun cites sources claiming that Prince Andrew will be present for festive celebrations, while the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will remain in the US.